Katia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Sunday and welcome to the Hava Mall. This week we are looking at verse 18. As always, we will begin by looking at three different translations. The first is by Olive Bray. He alone who has wandered wide and far has fared on the way, what manner of mine a man doth own who is wise of head and heart. And now for the Hollander translation. He who has seen and suffered much and knows the ways of the world, who has traveled, can tell what spirit governs the men he meets. And now our third translation from Bellows. He alone is aware who has wandered wide and far abroad has fared, how great a mind is guided by him that wealth of wisdom has. So the first overall message from this is that travel broadens the mind and that experience with different kinds of human beings brings insight. Going to new places and encountering difficult, uh, different people, not dif well, I suppose some of them might be difficult, but I meant to say different people. It teaches us about both similarities and differences within human societies, both of which can be extremely interesting to learn about. When we are the outsider, sometimes it's easier for us to see the nature of what's actually going on, because we're paying greater attention than we would in we were in familiar surroundings. We can't take as much for granted when it's necessary to be hyper alert. Uh, but we can really find our footing when we discover what we do have in common with others. And the more we travel, the more able we can determine what things are actually common to the human condition and the patterns that spring from those similarities. Now this brings us to the idea of taking someone's measure. While we are individuals, almost no one is so unique that they don't share a single other trait with another being. Most of us can be broadly categorized into certain personality types. There are various tests available to do this, and but unconsciously this process also takes place within our own minds. We meet someone new, and as we get to know them, they may remind us of someone else we have previously met. Their personalities may be similar, so we start to get a general emphasis on the general, it's not absolute, but a general idea of how that person is going to react under certain conditions. And this observation informs us what the person is most likely to be motivated by, and knowing that makes communication easier and helps us avoid pitfalls. So that is what I got out of the Havamal verse 18. I would be very interested to hear your own impressions about it. You could let me know in the comments section below, or you could come see us on Blackbird's Burr on Discord. If you haven't already, there's a link in the description box below. Click on it, it'll take you right to us, and we would be happy to have a discussion with you. But I think that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!